Good morning. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about your Reader's Workshop lesson. Your teaching point today is that readers pay attention to the way characters are feeling and what they may be thinking by focusing on the words they choose, the tone of their voice, and the cues the author gives through dialogue. So on today's template, you're basically going to be choosing a quote from your character's dialogue. A quote is something that your character says directly. So after you select that important quote, I want you to use that quote to be able to share how you think your character is feeling and what your character may be thinking. Um, you also might be able to use some clues from the author, depending on maybe their tone of voice that the character is speaking in or other clues um, in your story. So I'm going to give you an example today. I know that we've read this book numerous times, Days with Frog and Toad. I'm going to read just a couple pages of the first chapter called Tomorrow and I'm going to select a quote from Toad and I'm going to use that quote and the author's clues to tell you what I think Toad might be thinking and or feeling. So the first chapter is called Tomorrow. Toad woke up. Drat, he said. This house is a mess. I have so much work to do. Frog looked through the window. Toad, you are right, said Frog. It is a mess. Toad pulled the covers over his head. I will do it tomorrow, said Toad. Today, I will take life easy. And here's a picture of Toad still in bed. Frog came into the house. Toad, said Frog, your pants and jacket are lying on the floor. Tomorrow, said Toad, from under the covers. So I'm going to stop right there. Just from those first three pages, I'm going to choose a quote that Toad said um, that so it was just simply one word, tomorrow. So my quote is going to be tomorrow, said Toad from under the covers. And just from that one quote, I can tell that Toad is probably feeling tired, uh, maybe a little bit lazy. He doesn't want to have to do anything. Maybe that's exactly what he's thinking. I don't want to have to clean the house. I want to go back to sleep. Um, one clue that the author may have given me is it says tomorrow, said Toad, from under the covers. So the fact that he was having his head under the covers makes me think that he's still tired or that he's still lazy and he definitely is not in the mood for cleaning. So I want you to find one quote that your character says. Uh, write that quote down. Use any clues that the author may have given you and I want you to figure out what your character might be thinking and what your character might be feeling. All right, thanks so much.